Well guys, it is evening and I haven't vlogged today, but I'm a very chatty person, so I have actually recorded this one three times because I'm kind of chatting a little bit too much. So, we're gonna start with a quickie. I have been cross-stitching. I actually been cross-stitching somewhat secretly for, for a couple of weeks, a week, a week and, and a half, something like that. I started with the Storytime Classics and I didn't want to kind of uh, take pictures of it when it was in the frame and then I did it in a special way. I started making the the banner in one color and then and I only got the got it in the frame for the half of it. So then when I moved the frame, I hadn't made the text or the shadows. So I made the text and the shadows and half of it and then I did the two frames and then I moved the frame again. So I didn't want to show something that it was half done this time or this specific. So it, it's been there. I had some reasons. Yeah. But then I've made these, which are the cutest. This oh, I, I love this design. Really, really love this design. And this, the only... I haven't made that many changes on it, but I have made changes because um, I do believe metallic things should be in metallic and the real color for these are actually the brown in our hair so I have um, it's you stitch with two threads uh, over two on uh, this 36 count so instead of having two brown threads I've taken one brown and one gold um, I went through all my metallics and found a gold that actually matched the brown or somewhat matched the brown and then I did that and it's the clock, the key and the little handle is also metallic here so that is that is how they look look it's not the best light but this is how they look I'm gonna take a photo in a good light and put on Instagram yeah I put everything on Instagram you know um yeah i've been doing that i've been working today uh it's my third day of working from home i or t second day of working from home i am going to uh go to work tomorrow hopefully i've been very very tired and i have a fever um kind of figured out that a lot of my pain is probably from a cold so hopefully the cold will, I will rest, the cold will disappear, and life will be wonderful. Yeah. Other things I have done the last couple of hours is, um, I've been uh, future thinking. Here's the thing. I set up my Etsy shop and selling needles, sort of. Um, I want to be able to kind of add to that. My Etsy shop is basically my way to pay for my crafts. Um, I still have my job, I'm gonna continue working and everything, but it's always fun with a little extra money. And um, I really like the needles and I really want to be able to continue selling needles to you because I really, really enjoy them and they are pretty cheap. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some more of those needles. I still do, I do have them in the store and I do have at home um, at the moment but I think I have to restock uh, some of the needles so that I get them in. Uh, I do have, I have, I have a little, a little amount, a couple of more hundreds but that's it. I really, really like the needles so I hope you like them too. Uh, I was asked if I wanted if I would do Q snap covers and actually sell them and I'm thinking about it um, I have to calculate prices and stuff because um, I haven't really done that uh, mine will probably the thing is I pay quite a lot of money for my fabrics here in Sweden I don't know what you pay because uh, actually it's it wasn't that big of a difference, at least not the prices uh, in um, 
like Michael's and Joanne's. I checked the kind of pre-packed uh, quilt fabrics and they, they were somewhat the same, around the same prices, so it might not be too expensive, uh, actually. Um, but yeah, my question is more what kind of sizes would people want? I only have at the moment an 8 inch Q-snap, so I have to order the other sizes to be able to prototype towards it, but that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm still thinking if thinking about if I would um, sew someone some and put up on my Etsy or if I should put up a post where you can basically order your Q-snaps Q-snap covers um, and you can kind of order fabrics I put together a couple of, of kind of matching fabrics and you can choose from or you can something like that yeah I've been thinking a lot about Etsy and about products and about there's so many things I want to try to do. I want to try to color fabric. I have a fabric here at home that I'm supposed to be coloring. And the whole thing is if I'm gonna try coloring things um, because I already need to buy some things to do it. I'm um, thinking about that maybe I can buy extra fabric and, and basically just color up some more while I'm doing it. I still have to, it's just a trial and error thing, so it's gonna take a couple of tries. So a lot of, of those things, and I wanna do needle minders, and I have knitting markers that's supposed to go up on my Etsy, and yeah, God, there are, there, there is a lot of things. A lot of things that is going on in my brain right now. Um, basically, it's spinning of ideas, which not always is the best, but, it's fun. I'm thinking about the future, and future is also fun. But yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with store stuff right now because I don't know anything how it will end up. I am thinking about though uh, adding some of my recently made cards to the store. So that will be up in. We'll see how much I get done this weekend. I have a lot of videos to record this weekend too. We'll see how much energy I will have and stuff. But I'm in a good mood, right? That's that's the best part. Uh, but yeah, I have a video to uh, do a voiceover on because I really need to get that up in the morning. So I'm, I think I'm gonna say good night right now. So good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.